to see all of the components of this section in play. First, we see there are four highlighted tiles, so that means we need to fill four tiles. The red square in the corner here shows us that we have four tiles to use. Our beaver is not facing the correct direction to start placing tiles. So the first thing we need to do is get our beaver turned. You'll notice in this section that you only have a turn left option. So we're going to have to be creative in getting our beaver to make turns. So when I have the beaver turn left, you can see he turns left like if we were making a left turn. But I need the beaver to turn left again. Now, turning left points the beaver to this side, towards the ladder. If I wanted the beaver to turn right, pointing towards the front door, I would need three left turns to have the beaver facing in what would have been a right turn. So let's see how that goes. Do you see how now he's facing to what would have been the right? So you simply need to use multiple left turns to get the beaver facing in your correct direction. In our case, we want the beaver turning around, so that's going to be two left turns. Also notice how I'm testing this out before adding any other blocks, because I want to be sure I've got the beaver facing the right direction before I move on. Remember, we test parts of our code as we go. So once the beaver's facing the right direction, he can place a tile, and then the beaver can, can't step on the yellow blocks without tiles, but once he places the tile, he can step onto it so that he can place the next tile. So we're going to need to do that a few times. All right, so that's one, two, three tiles placed. One, two, three. He needs to step forward one more time and place a fourth tile. Let's see how that works. So you'll be using these three blocks initially to fill your roof. 